Hi, I'm Denshi, and recently I've been getting a lot of comments asking me to show off my Linux setup, so I guess here it is. I'm going to be talking about a few things like shell and graphical environment and, and file manager, that kind of thing, but let's begin with what you're looking at right here, besides the nice wallpaper. There's the Tint2 panel and the Plank dock. Now, these two things normally are used when a lot of people start using Openbox, and that's because I use Openbox as my window manager. See, it's even got this little menu. This little menu is made by a program program named ob menu generator which you get off the AUR or you can I think for void linux it's in the actual void linux repositories it's very good just give it a couple of flags like bash p the thing it's like i or something and, and it generates you a menu like this with icons and a pipe menu where you can launch all these kind of things all these different programs and it's, it's very nice i uh, quite like this menu it's, it's very quick it's very efficient not as good as something like d menu where you have a menu and you type the name that you want and that kind of thing but i think this is a nice little compromise i quite enjoy right clicking on my screen tint 2 it's a very simple panel if you go to settings over here i have tint 2 settings and it's got a couple of things in it got this battery indicator over here and hovering over it as you can see gives information about the battery so i basically set it all to have the exact same color it's just gray but slightly light gray i think it's tinted blue a bit slightly because that's in line with my gtk theme which is tinted a bit blue anyway so you know it's got a battery indicator it's got a tray with a bunch of stuff and a clock which shows the time now this tray over here has an icon if i just close this this tray over here is volume icon which is just yeah exactly that a volume icon you can search it up once again on the arch repositories oh yeah i probably should you know fetch at this point and show that i'm using arch linux yeah indeed the meme uh got way too many packages installed got you know the fish shell running here i use the fish shell but anyway back to the the panel i got volume icon over here which is just a volume icon click on it it mutes click on it again it unmutes pretty good sync thing which is what i use to synchronize and back up my stuff sync thing has this great thing where you can click on it right and you can create a new sync so add a shared folder and when you do this you can do a send only folder which is what I do, because basically I make folders on my computer that I have like project files or video files or whatever that I want to back up, and then I make it send only. And that means that the computers that receive these files, so these two little, you know, servers, they just basically get them. They can't send things back to me. They can't, you know, mess up and delete new data that I've added. And they don't delete old ones, because you can also configure things like trash and make sure that your old data doesn't get just instantly deleted for no reason. And it's it's quite fast, honestly. Sync thing compared to something like Mega, another thing that I use to back up stuff. It's basically just, you know, the same as sync thing, but it backs up to a proprietary server. Mega itself is open source software. In fact, the AUR package is basically just cloning the Git repository and compiling it because it's open source. But the server side is an open source and that's, you know, not exactly a super good thing. Mega is secure and it's reliable, which is why I also have that back up my project files along with the sync thing. The sync thing also manages something that Mega doesn't manage. It manages the backup of all my video files, which you can get off YouTube anyway, but you know. This Wi-Fi icon over here is called NM Applet, Network Manager Applet. You click on it, you can connect to networks. Where I click on it, you can configure networks, all that kind of stuff, edit connections, you know, add connections. It's very, very good. It used to be part of GNOME. Then you know, you know how GNOME is, they just decided to turn remove the system tray and with that came away all their cool little you know network manager applets and that kind of thing and now people use them on window managers the obs recording icon is just <laughs> me recording now with obs now this is obviously the optimus manager software which is used to manage optimus graphics however the icon here don't take this for granted the icon is a custom one it's an nvidia icon and an intel icon i downloaded these myself and added them which you can do go to settings and you can set the intel and nvidia icon i really quite like that it's pretty cool so yeah there's that and that's pretty much it for the panel now this dock over here this is the plank dock so right click on it and go into preferences you see the theme is set to shade the icon theme is if i open my terminal i'm going to talk about my shell first but i'm going to talk about the icon theme later as i mentioned before with my neofetch it's the fish shell it's got things like auto completion and memorizing commands and that kind of thing it's very very useful to me because i'm very forgetful and forget commands and specific kind of things so it's really useful to be able to type stuff and like just see it right in front of you with a preview. Now, obviously, the fish shell isn't perfect because it's not POSIX compliant, which means it can't run every single script that you throw at it. But for that, you know, 
Arch Linux comes pre-installed with Bash. So you can just run those scripts with well, Bash or just switch to Bash yourself in your terminal. So it's not really an issue for me. Just that when I'm just doing commands, most of the time, I want to use the fish shell because it has auto completion that, that kind of thing. It's, it's very useful to me. So I said I was going to talk about icon theme. I can find that in LX appearance, which is the software I use to manage that kind of stuff. So in this, you can manage GTK themes, that kind of stuff. I have the Codger, Koger, I don't really know what this is, but dark theme. I don't know how to pronounce it. And the icon theme is also set to Koger Dark, and that's what it is. It, it looks very nice. And speaking of icons, there's folder icons here because now I'm gonna talk about the file manager. So I'm gonna open it up here. And as you can see, there's my failed recordings from before. It's the PC Man FM file manager. It's very small, it's minimalist. It just follows whatever GTK theme you give it. There are a couple things I do recommend setting up. If you press F4, it opens up whatever folder you're in in a terminal. But the first time you press F4, it will ask you to set that up so you can go in and type in what your terminal emulator is, which once again, my one is Termit. It says over here in the NeoFetch. So yeah, that's pretty useful. You can also go to your settings preferences over here and change what's shown at the side and that kind of stuff. You can you manage volume management, like automatically mount USBs when you plug them in. It's very minimalist and it's fast, but it's got all these cool features to really, really like. That's why I use PC Manifest as my file manager. Now I said before I use OpenBox as my window manager, but I haven't really talked about how I do things like my key bindings, right? Press the meta key or super key and then E and I open up the file manager meta key and super key and T, open up a terminal and, and so forth. And meta key and the arrows move them around. So if I do left arrow, it moves it to the left of the screen, right arrow moves it to the right of the screen, up moves it to the upper left and down moves it to the, you know, lower left. So all of that is configured in my open box configuration, which is in dot config open box RC dot XML right there. So it's very, very easy to look through this and find what pre existing key bindings there are and just changing what they do. It's just something I downloaded off the internet. It's it's actually included in my dot files. All this stuff is included in my dot files. I'm going to record right here. See, it's it's all blue. It's it's quite cool. So yeah, that's pretty much my setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.